Hello, everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Copyright Protection. I mean, uh, King's Quest IV. Yeah, but the very first screen is Copyright Protection. So if you want to play the game, you need the manual. Luckily, nowadays, the manual is just available anywhere online. However, when I was a kid, I did have this game. It was on my computer, but I barely ever, ever got a chance to play it. Why? Because we lost the manual. So every time I'd go on here, I'd have to guess, and most of the time I'd get it wrong. But one day I was trying to play the game, and I just typed in the word the, and it worked. Apparently one of the answers to one of the questions is actually the. And so every time I wanted to play the game, I would have to have that specific question pop up so I'd know the answer to it. And there are a ton of questions they ask, so it can get frustrating sometimes, and I... I really didn't get to play this game that much as a kid. But I have now, and it is a fun game. I really enjoy it. Uh, you may notice that, unlike the first three games of the series, I did not read the little story that's in the manual. Why didn't I do so? Because the story in the manual just recaps the first three games. That's it. I mean, it's said in sort of a, you know the same format as the first three games, but it all it does is just tell you what happened. So, if you really want to read it, just look up King's Quest IV manual, and there it is. Anyway, I do actually need to look at the manual right now. So, on page two, what is the fourth word of the first sentence? Let us see. So, one two, legend. Aha! And here we go. Is this your first time playing? Let's just say it is, because that gives us the intro. And this will start up right where King's Quest 3 left off, so that's pretty nice. I still do get some nostalgia from this game. I did get to play it a bit. So this is King's Quest IV, The Perils of Rosella. And they always have to have these cool fancy little intro here. Look how sparkly it is. Of course we have the genius Roberta Williams. Uh, I still need to get the uh, new King's Quest game, but uh... The problem is, I hate fighting games that are incomplete, and only chapter 1 of 5 has been released so far. So yeah. Still, I might still just get it and play it, because it looks so good. And, uh, Roberta Williams had a hand in that, but... Either way, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. I'll have to play that eventually on my channel, since I'm doing the whole King's Quest series. Oh yeah, we left here. With the return of his long-lost son, Alexander, and the rescue of his daughter, Rosella, from the terrible dragon, Old King Graham decides it's time to pass on his adventurous hat to younger blood. So we have Graham, Balinese, Rosella, and Alexander, in much better graphics than the first three games. He flings the battered hat toward his children, while his wife, Queen Balinese, proudly looks on. Such a happy reunion. What could there possibly be to do now? Nobody's in danger. Nobody's... Right, the hat arches through the air. Suddenly, King Graham experiences a terrible squeezing pain in his chest. Oh, that is scary. Yeah, that face always scared me. <laughs> Help me, he rasps. The adventurer's hat lies unclaimed upon the floor, forgotten. Alexander's still in his ratty old clothes from the last game. It hasn't even had time to change yet, and already he's dealing with this. King Graham lies weakly in bed. Father Death hovering near. I've never heard, it, heard Death refer to his father. Grief suddenly overwhelming her. Rosella flees from the room. Oh, Father, she sobs. You're still young. You should have many years ahead of you. Oh, I wish I could help you, Father. Do you really mean that? A soft voice asks. Zilla looks up and sees no one. Who's speaking to me? I am, the voice says. Look in the magic mirror. The 
Zella sees an image in the mirror. Who, who are you? She queries. Very slowly, she queries. Like, I don't want to... Oh, there we go. I am the fairy Janesta. In my land of Tamir, there is a remarkable tree. This tiny tree needs 100 years to bear a single fruit. Yeah, I don't want to press enter because I don't want to skip anything. But this is no ordinary fruit. For if a person were to eat it, they would find that good health and well-being would be theirs for many years. Rosella is much heartened by this news. Where is the land of Tamir? Jeez, that is terrifying. <laughs> Janesta smiles. Tamir is very far away, but with my magic I can bring you here. Zella senses that there is more to the story, but I suppose there are some problems. Again, Janesta smiles. Yes, you are correct, Rosella. If you're willing to come to Tamir, I will explain the situation. However, once I bring you here, I can't send you back. You'll have to help me first. Confused, Rosella says, I don't know. What if I can't help you or find the tree? Janesta pleads, You must decide now, Rosella. Your powers are growing weaker by the minute. Say yes now. And suddenly she's gone. Yes. The lovely fairy speaks. I am the fairy Janesta. Welcome to Demir. Zilla looks awestruck at the fairy. She's stunningly beautiful, but still there is a certain sadness to her. Finally, Rosella speaks. I know you would like me to help you in some way, but I don't know how I could help a fairy. Janessa looks sadder than ever. You're wrong, Rosella. You see, I'm losing my magical powers. Yesterday, as I was strolling through the woods, the lot, the evil fairy, caught me unawares at uh, the fairy's size. She yanked it from my neck and raced away screeching with laughter. Immediately I felt my power diminishing, my body weakening. I will die in 24 hours if my talisman is not returned. Oh, she looks so sad. See, a lot stole her talisman. Tenley just looks at Rosella. The Lot is very evil. He used the talisman to bring more evil to Demir. Now I fear it will contaminate my whole country. Further, I cannot send you home without my talisman. Zilla is unsure to what she can she can do. Meekly she asks, I want to help you, but how? You can do more than you think, Vizella, Janista assures her. I believe you will be able to penetrate Lalot's domain. Suddenly, Rosella remembers the tiny tree. Can you tell me where to find the magic fruit? Remorsefully, Janesta looks at Rosella. It will not be easy to reach the tree. It grows on a tiny island within a vast swamp on the other side of the Great Mountains. Bravely fighting back tears, Rosella says, I will help you in any way I can, Janista. How can I find Lalot? The beautiful fairy points eastward. Lalot's castle overlooks Tamir from the Great Mountains. Janista looks weaker, as she says. There is not much more I can do, Rosella. As it is, it will be difficult for me to fly home again. One thing I must do for you, though. 
I shall disguise you as a peasant girl so as not to attract attention. The thank you, Janesta. I think, Rosella stammers. It would be better for you, the fairy says. Well, I must be off while I can still fly. I know you can do it. Bye, good luck. Well, you're on your own, Rosella. start. Yep. Alright, so that was a pretty long introduction, the longest of the series so far, and we have our new protagonist, Rosella, King Graham's daughter. And uh, this game has much better graphics, as you can see. Um, uh, there is actually a different version of this game, which I was trying to find, but I couldn't. I got this version from uh, GOG.com, and uh, well, the problem is that the other version, version 2.0, is very, it was a very rare copy. And there's also the fact that uh, I just couldn't find it for download. Every version I see is this version. Not that version 2.0 really has much to offer. It's a little bit better looking, but, and there's like one Easter egg you can find, but uh, sadly I cannot get it. Oh well. But I'll uh, link you to it at some point, to uh, where it is. This is a pretty fun little easter egg that's only available in version 2.0. So, as in the other games, if you want to do a command, you type. So, type look. The river coming from the east spills into the blue ocean before you. The lonely beach edges the ocean. From atop the bluff, a lovely meadow stretches eastward. And each screen has its own little description. You can also save your game at any point. I don't think I'll need to turn up the speed, but I might even turn up the speed or slow it down. So let's so you save the game and you can type in whatever you want so again name very original uh, name for that save and you can also do some very stupid things in this game to die such as <laughs> jeez he got her fast you make a tasty morsel for that hungry shark and you get this death animation with the little uh, EGI Roberta Williams there. So you just restore, and you're back to where you were. So make sure to save often, because you can die in many ways. Let us begin in earnest. Oh, hello. The cold river carves its way through the lush, flowery meadow. You see a beautiful wild unicorn in the meadow. Its coat is dapple gray and its wonderful horns shine like gold. The unicorn shies at your approach and trots away. I'll talk to the unicorn. Oh, unicorn. Yeah. He called to the wild unicorn, but it trots away at your arrival. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about that for now. So let us keep going. Like you can just cross this river like that. You don't need to <laughs> worry like King Graham usually would. And there's the unicorn. Oh, wait, look. Bird. Raven doesn't look to be a friendly bird at all. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. I'm not mean to follow the unicorn. This really is the way I want to go, anyway. Here, let's look at the screen. While wandering through a thick wood, you hear birds chirping from the many trees. Oh, what's this? You see a crude mine shaft in the midst of the forest of pine trees. Let's check it out. We go in. We have a 
encountered a group of small men working in this diamond mine. They're not too friendly, though, as one of them forcefully tells you to leave the premises. Oh, fine. Yeah, there's a funny thing you can do. If you get in there fast enough, and if you walk off the edge of the that thing fast enough, then when you get kicked out, Rosella will be like, will walk really funky. Like, she'll go in the direction you point her to, but she'll be, like, facing in all sorts of different directions. She'll be, like, moonwalking and facing forward while she's going to the right, and it's pretty weird. But I won't bother doing that because it'll kind of take away the immersion of the game. So I believe it does that until, like, you know, you something else happens. Ooh, this looks uh, menacing. Let's keep going. Oh, the lot's goons. Hey, well, if this is where the lot lives, then this is where we need to go to get that pendant back. Let's go. Uh-oh. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. I love the graphics of this game. They did so much to improve it. Well, my pets, the lot hisses. What have you dragged home today? Lot gives you the once over as she does her red eyes begin to narrow. You are a foolish girl who wandered here by mistake, or are you a spy sent here by my enemy Janesta? You swear to Lot that you are nothing but a poor peasant girl who has lost her way, but she doesn't seem to believe you as her mouth begins to snarl and her eyes narrow to mere slits. first time you experience real fear and begin to tremble. What, when you were tied up next to that dragon, that's when you, you, you weren't afraid then? <laughs> the Lord snarls. You don't look stupid enough to have wandered here. I believe you're a spy. I remember it was just earlier that day that she was rescued, this day that she was rescued. Take her to the cell. So she's going through a lot. Hmm. This doesn't look pleasant. You have found yourself in a horrible cell. Looks as if others have found their way here, too. Hopefully you won't end up like them. At least two unfortunate individuals have met their end here. Well, one and a half. Who knows what happens to the, happened to this guy's other half. Yikes, though. Do they not, like, clean this place up? I mean, these... Guys have been here long enough that they literally, literally rotted to the bones, and geez, that's, that's not good. You hear the henchmen are returning. Perhaps they're setting you free. All right. That wasn't long. The henchman motions you to follow him out of the cell. The look gives you a sickly sweet look. You're lucky, my dear, she coos. My precious son, Edgar, has taken a liking to you and he believes you. He's convinced me to give you a chance to prove your innocence. You glance at the homely young man standing next to Lalotte. He blushes. Ah. Lalotte continues, I wish to own the unicorn that inhabits the Meadowland. Oh yeah, we saw that cute little guy. Bring me the unicorn and I shall not only set you free, but reward you as well. To her henchman in the lot orders, go t or to her henchman in the lot orders, go take her back to the, this place. Yeah. Bye. Uh oh. So we've been Baba Yaga, and we are now supposed to do the bidding of the henchman in the lot. And yes, you have to do it. Not good. Alright, so let me save the game now. Let's do a bit more exploring get off the screen so that music stops. Hmm. So we have a nice little waterfall here. You see a beautiful waterfall cascading down the mountain into a deep pool. From the pool, a river courses westward. Around you, a dense forest closes in. Hmm. So we'll want to get that uh, unicorn, but we don't have the means to do it yet. We'll 
walking through a forest thick with pine trees, a nearby river rushes westward from the distant mountain range. In the distance, you see a large house. Hmm. Let's uh, worry about that later. You have come upon a cute little house built right into a huge tree. A water wheel attached to the house goes unused besides the little river that flows gently before the house. Can you see a house any more times? Actually, there's something else I want to find. I'm not sure where it is. I think it kind of appears randomly. Um, there we go. You are roaming through a dense forest. Look, if you can't tell, that's a bird down there. A pretty robin pulls hungrily at a long earthworm. Hey, shoo, shoo. Look, worm. You see a fat worm wiggling on the ground. Take worm. And she grabs the worm. Let's see. So you look in your inventory, you can see what you're carrying. And you get a little picture of it if you look at it while it's in your inventory. I've always wondered, why do worms have that like little band-aid thing around them like some of the, some of the time? What is that? I don't know. Oh, and there's uh, one more thing I want to find before I end this off. Let's see. We keep following the river. Ah, oh, we come to this bridge, and there is something there below the bridge. Look, a gentle stream meanders its way through the trees. A rustic stone bridge crosses its path. Look under bridge. Look under the bridge, but do not see anything of importance from where you're standing. I wonder, is this one of those games where you can right-click on things and you can look at them? Nope. Too bad. So look under the bridge. You kneel down and peer under the bridge. Aha, you have found a small golden ball. You pick it up and carry it with you. So we have started our quest to get that amulet, get the fruit. But Lolot has other plans for us. What will we do? Well, you're just going to have to find out in this new Let's Play of King's Quest IV, The Perils of Rosella. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.